you too. Oh, it's a Holland. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Holland. Holland. It's time to put the disguise on. Hello. Can I uh, try on the kangaroo costume, please? It's you, isn't it? How many times have you tried the kangaroo costume in the last three years? You never once had it. Well, my friend is marrying an Australian chick, and I need something for the stag party. Can I please try it on? Okay, but this is the last time, okay? A few years ago, I discovered this magical kangaroo suit that transports me over to Holland. Once I've stepped through that door over there, I can pick up whatever I want. Cheap ciggies, booze, some good pornography, a bit of nice oily hash, strong weed, pills, anything I want really. Once I get everything that I need, I simply step through another magic door in Holland and it brings me back here. No border controls, customs, nothing. The usual. I'll throw in a little sample of some hard rolled chalice from the foothills of the Himalayas. I think you'll like it. Ringo! You have to help me. One of my friends has dropped one of her toys down a well. Can't you see? The kangaroo is busy. Wait outside, Paul. The kangaroo will be with you in a minute. That bloody kid latched on to me a few months ago. He thinks I'm a real kangaroo. It's so bloody annoying. He is a bloody annoying little git. But young Paul out there is the son of the mayor of this town. I suggest that you keep the real kangaroo thing going. Otherwise you'll attract the wrong kind of attention. You know, I was thinking, because there's like a general vibe round here, that the police and fire brigade aren't really pulling their weight. So, uh, consequently, I think it's up to us, well, particularly me, to, you know, go down a well, get the toy from the, uh, the bottom of the well, then I was thinking, could get out of the well and give the toy back to my friend, yeah? I was considering a ladder, but the well is 20 meters deep and the largest ladder in this town is 15 meters, leaving us five meters short. It's not a bad idea, but I think I can improve on it. Ringo, I'm not having a go at you. I'm just shaping up. Well, you know, making the most out of your simple idea. Halfway down, Ringo. I told you that this would work. You need to listen to me more often, because most of the time I am right. It's a simple equation, Ringo. You hold the rope in your mouth, and I, you know, I climb down it into the well, you see. I got the brain and looks. You got the muscle. Oh, I've had enough of that, Pratt. Ringo, I think that you've let go of the rope accidentally. So what you have to do now is, uh, if you get another rope and lower that down, I can then climb up the rope and, uh, you know, get out. Maybe if you get a ladder and an eight meter rope, lower the ladder down, you know, right down, just, and I can climb up to within five meters of the top, then you lower the rope down and, you know, that I'll go with, then, you know, maybe, yeah, you know, just... Come on, smart Alec, through this door now. 